1984 in a boardroom with a Nike headquarters, Rob Strasser, the marketing director for Nike at the time, shoe designer Peter Moore, legendary shoe designer by the way, Sonny Vaccaro who was responsible for basketball marketing and scouting, and a man named Howard White pitched Michael Jordan to join Nike. Now Howard White, who is now 78 years old, has become a Nike legend and is also responsible for some of the biggest signings of Nike. White played a huge part in not just signing Michael Jordan, he also brought in Charles Barkley, Deion Sanders, Scottie Pippen, and a ton more. If you've seen the movie Air, he was played by Chris Tucker, a super hilarious version of Howard White, I'm sure. But that movie kind of goes into the story a bit more. And on June 10th, for $210, Jordan Brand honored Howard White, who was also known as H, with a special edition of his favorite silhouette, Air Jordan 2 H Wings. Jordan Wings program is a community impact platform with the goal of providing access to education for underprivileged youth. And each year, Jordan Brand will come up with special Wings shoes, like the Jordan 5 Wings, the Jordan 12 Wings, and a whole bunch more. And this year, they chose the Jordan 2, not just because they've been pushing the Jordan 2 down our throats lately, but also because Howard White, his favorite silhouette, was actually the Jordan 2. And the upper sole of the shoe comes with a white base leather layer. It's pretty standard Jordan 2 leather. Like this is leather where you can kind of see the grains, but it's not overdone where it looks very artificial and looks kind of fake. Pretty decent. It's not like the most premium leather or anything, but I think it's pretty nice. And of course on the mid panel, right above the mud guard, just like you see on other Jordan 2s, that faux lizard texture. And if you didn't know, the Jordan 2 was supposed to be like an upscale premium Jordan silhouette. So when they made the shoe, they went with that lizard texture to really bring out that premium feeling. Now one thing I really want to point out is that green piping right above the faux lizard texture. See it's green, that malachite green. However, if you look up very close, you'll see like black dots. So it's actually a pattern instead of just like a solid flat color. Little details, little nuances, they really just make me happy. And of course the most distinct feature about the shoe, which is also the theme of the shoe, are the wings on the mid panel. And Howard White, his favorite quote is, everyone can fly, which is super, super fitting for a Jordan Wings shoe. I think it's a really, really nice touch. Sometimes if you imagine like wings on a shoe, it can be kind of corny. Obviously like the Adidas Jeremy Scott form highs, they literally had like wings, like flaps on the back of the shoe. This one, obviously much more subtle. It's not like corny. When I think of wings on a shoe, something corny about the whole thing just pops my mind, but the way they do it, it's very, very nice. And another really cool aspect about this shoe is that light green kind of translucent TPU heel counter. Usually it'll be like a solid flat color. And on this shoe, you can see H. H obviously for Howard White's nickname, H. Really, really, really cool touch. I love that. Just look how sick that looks. And the official green on the shoe is Malachite, which is like a copper stone. It's almost got this like glittery shine to it. So not sure if you can see it in the video, but up close you can definitely see that glitter and it's not too much not too much to be like corny and just too loud it's just enough just enough to bring that malachi essence to life and the green and white colorway that is based on howard white's high school kikatan high school in hampton virginia now kikatan has a very different spelling than the pronunciation they are a native american tribe in virginia and that was the high school that he went to so it's based on the high school's colorway and the jordan 2 heel tab on this shoe it's actually solid it's not that rubber material that has like a little softness to it like you'll see on like a jordan 2 chicago i believe it is like a solid tpu material for this heel tab so it feels slightly different i prefer the softer feeling heel tab however for this shoe they did make some modifications and on the lace tips it's also modified slightly one says power the other one says belief another really cool storytelling aspect of the shoe and always one of my favorite things about a jordan 2 is the wings logo on the tongue i love that kind of rubber material the soft rubber material and i love just the placement of the wings logo on the tongue i mention it every time i review a jordan 2 it's just like a focal point of the shoe and the wings logo is so retro so vintage so classic i just love it love the way it looks love the way it feels and then that deep dark malachite green doesn't have that glitter on this material on the wings logo that color really really like and now moving on to the inside of the shoe the material inside is actually satin so it's not like the usual mesh or nylon texture that you might find in other jordan 2s so it does have a more smooth and slippery feel to it and i think they went with that material just to give it a more premium vibe to the shoe 
This is a slightly more expensive Jordan 2. So I think that's why they went with that. Comfort wise, the Jordan 2 padding, really, really always very decent. Super thick, super soft, but I do have more to say about sizing and comfort later. However, at least around the ankle collar, padding's always decent for a Jordan 2. And on the insole, you'll see a Jumpman in black. However, right underneath, you'll also see the letter H in quotes. Obviously, again, referencing his nickname, Howard H. White. Just another detail that goes into the storytelling of the shoe. Love it. Now, this shoe, like other Jordan 2s, comes with a polyurethane midsole with an encapsulated Nike Air unit just on the heel. And the rubber outsole, one of my favorite patterns out of all Jordan 2s, so classic, kind of blends the Jordan 1 and like the Jordan 3 with a cutout. Really, really love that. One thing I always want to point out when I talk about the outsole of a Jordan 2, you see the sizing of your shoe pointed on the outsole. And another thing that I have to point out about the Jordan 2 outsole is when you buy a Jordan 2 woman's exclusive, they're still printed in the men's sizing. Now this isn't a woman's exclusive, so the 9.5, my size, that makes sense. But I wonder if they would have caught that if this was a woman's exclusive. Now this shoe actually comes with two extra set of laces, one in this green malachite color to match the rest of the shoe, and the other one in this kind of muslin, sail, creamy, off-white color. Kind of matches the shirt I'm wearing. Purely coincidence. Now think out of the three colors. The black default laces look nice. However, that creamy, off-white, yellowish muslin color, that actually makes the shoe pop. It's so different that I kind of like it. Now, usually I don't like straying too far away from like the colors of the shoe. However, that's a pretty subtle color. It's a pretty muted tone. I do kind of like it. So usually for 90% of all the shoes that I review, I pretty much go with the default laces. Let me know what laces you would prefer in the comments below, but this is one of the rare times that I would go with the extra set of laces. And the box of the shoe is a very standard Jordan 2 Wings logo box. I thought they would have done something special with the box considering all the kind of details they added to the shoe itself. However, can't ask for too much nowadays. Now moving on to size and comfort, I'm a size 9.5 true to size. I do have wide feet, and for Jordan 2s, I found it's kind of a consistent for my wide feet. Sometimes I go true to size 9.5, sometimes I go up half a size. Both work, both come with their pros and cons. And the reason why I can't be consistent is I found some Jordan 2s come pretty stiff out the box. So I did stay true to size for this shoe, and it is pretty stiff, it is pretty tight. I don't regret it yet because I think it'll break in. Usually Jordan 2s break in pretty well and usually like 70% of the time I stay true to size for Jordan 2s. That has served me well but honestly as a wide footer, especially as a flat footer, I don't really have a clear answer for you. I think you can kind of flip a coin and go up half a size or stay true to size but if I had to choose, if I had to give you one recommendation, probably just stick true to size. Break the shoe in, wear thinner socks if you have to, Usually the problem occurs around this arch where the TPE material starts and it's a bit more solid. It's not just like straight leather over here. Just give it time to break in. Now comfort wise, the Jordan 2 is a pretty comfortable shoe. If it's not stiff, if you can break it in because the padding inside, it's just so well padded. The insoles though are pretty flat on the shoe. Just one Nike Air unit on the heel. So this shoe is still pretty flat. Don't mind it too much. It feels slightly better than a Jordan 1. However, if you're into like super soft shoes, this ain't the shoe for you. Now that brings the total sole score to 19 out of 25. Actually one of the highest scores out of all the shoes that I've reviewed. But colorway wise, I really like this colorway. Just green and white. Can't really go wrong, especially with a darker, more muted green. Not like a super bright green. I really, really like that. The wings, the sketched wings on the mid panel. I think it's pretty well done. It's pretty elegant. So I like that. It doesn't stand out too much but it still gives this unique look. Now material wise, it's decent, it's pretty nice. It's not the best. Jordan 2 is usually the tongue, it comes with that synthetic leather. However, at least down the middle part, down the center of the shoe, it's pretty nice leather. Now in terms of comfort, Jordan 2 is usually, I give pretty high marks on for comfort, but this shoe just, I don't know, extraordinarily stiff out of the box. Don't know what went wrong there. I'm gonna reserve final judgment. I wanna break this shoe in more, but usually, at least like 60% of the time, Jordan 2 out of the box, slightly more comfortable than this one. Now versatility wise, I think the Jordan 2 silhouette is actually kind of underrated. It is harder to wear, but it does have this more elegant or like classy look to the silhouette. I do think the Jordan 2 lows are actually more versatile, but I guess Jordan brands like marketing, the way they shove Jordan 2s down our throat, it's kind of having an effect on me. I'm starting to really think it's a more versatile shoe than I did like five years ago. In terms of colorway, 
a white, predominantly white shoe. Can't really go wrong with that. White sneakers are all the hype and it'll just never go away. White sneakers will always be a thing and the green on the shoe, very easy to wear. It's a muted dark green, so it's not too loud. It just blends in. Now in terms of storytelling, this is where the shoe really shines. If you do a little bit of research about Howard White, but the inspiration behind the shoe, you start to notice all the little details and really appreciate them. You start from the colorway that references his high school, the H that you see on the heel counter, as well as the insole, and his favorite quote, everyone can fly, that literally refers to the wings on the mid panel, as well as the whole Jordan wings collection. And not to mention the Jordan 2 was his favorite silhouette, and all of that just adds up and just really pays tribute to a legend within Nike. There are certain sneakers or category of sneakers within Nike, within Jordan brand, within any brand really, that really has a special story behind it. For example, like the Dornpecker shoes. It's not just a shoe, it's not just like a limited release. There's a whole non-profit cause to it. And the Wings program is the same. It's not just like super nice looking shoes that they come out with every year. There's a whole Wings community initiative behind the shoe. And it might sound corny, but sometimes a shoe is more than a sneaker. And I think in this case, that's definitely true. But that's it. Thanks for watching Soul Inclined. Let me know what you think of the Air Jordan 2 H Wings. Like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. And remember, tomorrow may never come, so wear your shoes.